good morning and happy Vlogmas day five. I haven't even looked in the mirror. Maybe I should do that. Um, I am so tired. I don't know what's going on. I have not been sleeping well. I know we've been getting to bed later, but still sleeping eight hours. Michael was like, we didn't sleep that much over the weekend, so maybe you're trying to catch up. So I don't know what, I don't know. I'm just so tired. And I need to, I'm going to be really mindful today to stop drinking caffeine by two. Because I know when I get really tired, I also drink caffeine later. It's a cycle. Um, so, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm going to um, download. I have some clients like sprinkled throughout the day. But I'm going to download um, the vlog this morning. Like all the videos. That's what I'm doing right now. Which is rude. So I'll stop. Um, I'm downloading all the videos from yesterday and I will edit that this morning, have a client probably at 10 and then, um, you know, sprinkle some things in between, do my yoga maybe after the client, spin, knit, just fun stuff in between my clients and I have a client later on in the afternoon. Um, And just take it slow and easy today. Because I said I was going to do that yesterday and the day before and the day before. And how do you think that's been going so far? Let me know. I need to get better. Um, I need to get better. My friends laughed when I quit my job. I said, I'm going to have a few off days. And they said, Brie, do you even know what an off day is? Uh, and I can't prove them right, so... I'm going to give myself some downtime. Uh, ooh, excuse me. I'm going to give myself some downtime. And then tonight is date night. So we're going to bar Louie for half price burgers. I don't really feel like a burger. Maybe I'll have wings. Um, in a movie at 7. We're going to see. I keep forgetting what we're going to see. Saltburn. There were a few other Christmassy ones we wanted to see, but they weren't playing at good times. So, salt, burn, it is. What are you up to today? Or what did you get up to yesterday? Because it'll be Wednesday when you're watching this. Can't believe it's already December 5th. This is wild.
just had lunch after yoga. I did a little bit of computer work for the business. Honestly, I have done so much today and have somehow been avoiding working on this. Um, I spun, re added twist to the entire 50 gram skein that I had made of my Rolag spin. It looks so much better already. It's sitting on the bobbin, but I just going through it was like, yeah, this was underapplied. Um, <clears throat> I knit my stripey socks for today. I did yoga. I saw some clients. I've been busy, but I think I've been avoiding this because I was nervous it wasn't going to work. And I think I was wrong. <gasps> okay. Um, I love this so much. Okay, clearly I have a sports bra on, so like it's gonna pull a little bit more that way. <gasps> uh, I am obsessed with this. And this is on, oh, you can't even see, I'm nervous. I have like um, tubing that my friend Amy gave me. I think she just bought it from Amazon. And I'm in love. So this is, I matched the length of the neck, which I like the way that looks when all the ribbing matches and the length of the bottom, I think. Let me count. Yep. Do, 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 do. How long have I counted? Um, I... <laughs> love okay now I'm really excited I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna buy so do a sewn bind off here immediately and then get working on the second sleep or the first sleep I'm so happy so happy I wanna cry uh yeah it's exactly what I wanted I'm gonna fly on this. I was honestly like, we're going to the movie tonight. Maybe I need to wind up some yarn to cast on something else. I don't know if I wanna work sleeve decreases in the movie, it's gonna be dark. I was making excuses because I was nervous <laughs> that this wasn't gonna work, so now I'm gonna be cranking away on the sleeve and maybe even get it done like today. That's delusional, tomorrow. If I could get the sleeve done tomorrow, pick up for the second one, that would be amazing. And who knows, <laughs> at this rate, it might just happen. I am all done with clients for the day. I am all done with work for the day. I ended up doing more than I thought I would, but I also ended up relaxing a lot, which was really nice. I actually built it into my day a bit more than I normally would. So I finished yoga, and then instead of like, do these work things, I was like, I'm gonna hang out and knit on my sweater. And then before yoga even, I was like, I should just do yoga and then do these work things. And then I'll spin later. I was like, you should just spin now. And I did. And I got a lot done. I got almost everything done. There's one little thing I still need to do um, for orders that I will do in the morning. It'll get done. It feels so good. Um, so now our movie's at 7, which means we need to go eat by like 6-ish in order to make it. 6.15 is really kind of close, but we've done it before like 40 minutes typically to eat, but an hour is what we typically do. It's 5.15. I don't know when Michael will be home. They have a lot going on at work this week. Um, but I have a box right there, there. <laughs> uh, of garland that goes right on this railing, and I think I'm going to set it up. Our plan is to go get our Christmas tree tomorrow after Michael's work. 
And then I have a knit night. Do I have a knit night? No, I'm lying. I don't have a knit night. We have a movie watch along with the membership on Wednesday. So that'll be perfect. We get a real tree and then it usually needs to sit for like a day and I let it open up before we decorate it. So that would be perfect if we can do that. Then we could decorate it on Thursday. I'm excited to have a tree up. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just going to do a little bit of decorating, garland, maybe some twinkle lights and things that I have around here that I've been wanting to put up for a while. And this is perfect motivation to do it. And then I'm going to come back and knit on this sleeve. I'm taking it to the movies. I decided I was like, should I also bring something else in case? I like having two projects. I might actually, maybe I will skein up my main skein for the Red Vent cardigan just in case and get a cast on. We'll see. And also, I love this so much. I'm like, how much fun would this be as a tank top also? Like, this is a fun winter version, but picture no sleeve and just like that halter look, ribbing, even maybe even a little less up here. And just the ribbing would be so good. So, I might need to move around my summer designs and squeeze that one in. Do we like it? Let me know what you think. Okay, decorating time, and I'm going to throw on some Vogmases. Oh, let me show, let me share, let me share who I have been watching because I have a playlist. What I've been doing is a playlist for every day. So I know when I'm through day three, through, I watch everybody's day two, day three all together instead of like catching up on one person. That's not how I've always done things, but that's what I'm doing this year. So who am I watching? By the lakeside. I don't have my glasses on. Don't yell at me for squinting. Down Cellar Studio. One of a Kate. Marissa made. So much fun. Um, and this is her first year doing Vlogmas, I believe, or the first year that I've seen. And her YouTube's new, so I'm pretty sure. But I love Marissa. Kayla. Marissa made. And that's really fun. Natalie, of course. Nitty Witch. Knitting Tipsy. Michael Sean. Crazy Sock Lady. That's a lot of people. No wonder I'm not caught up. Also, I'm like kind of okay with not being caught up because what will happen if I'm not caught up just means I get to extend through the end of December and sometimes even into January. Sometimes what I like to do is I, I don't like to start too many vlogmases like all at once, especially new people that I haven't watched before. So Marissa made I watch her YouTube channel, but I've never seen her vlogmas. So I added that. Down Cellar Studio, I'm just adding and I've never seen her vlogmas is before so I don't want to add too many new people but I really want to watch Christina of Chelsea Yarns. Everyone tells me I will really like her videos so that might be a January project which means I get to extend vlogmas and I have more to look forward to. But that's what I'm watching for now. Who are you watching? Let me know if we're watching any of the same vlogmas and if we're not you should go watch these folks because most of them are my friends and they're wonderful. decorated as it's going to be for now. Michael needs to do the lights outside this week. Yeah, sure. Right? Doesn't everyone think so? They said yes. I didn't hear it. It wasn't a resounding yes. Check your ears. Uh, I'm wearing my glasses because we're going to the movies and... My glasses don't work. 
So they work better than nothing. <laughs> but I'm so excited for my new prescription. My mom said my glasses came in. Um, and they're a funky color. There's two options. There's a black pair and then like a multicolor. But she said the multicolor is not as colorful as we thought. She was like, so you might actually like the black more. So we'll see this weekend. And then, oh, I have to text her. I forgot. Um, she's going to put new lenses in these and my other pair. So very excited for that. We are on our way to dinner, to Bar Louis. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. We're so classy. Classy people. Oh. Um, we have I have my knitting. I just brought my cold shoulder sweater. Um, I we have our movie bag, aka water and candy that comes with us when we go to the movies. It's my little knit tote bag. It's so cute. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll see you in a minute. Don't really have words. That movie was very good, and it was a million percent not what I thought it was There's going no to be. There's no way you can know what that movie is about from the trailers. I thought it was going to be like kids partying and like like Euphoria-esque. This is crazy. We're so rich. There's no way you can expect <laughs> it. There's no way. I think it was a horror movie. It was a it was a really good movie, and it's real strange as well. It was it was out worth there. the watch. I opinion. won't recommend it to everyone. No, it's not for everyone. Maybe like do some research. <laughs> no, don't do any research. Yeah, I feel like it was better because we had no idea it, what it was going to exactly be about. That's exactly it. But it is not lighthearted. No, I would say it is a. It is dark, dark it, and twisted. And, Psychological thriller, and, not really. And cringy. <laughs> cringy feels like that horror. Not suspense. No. I, it, it, it was is. horror, I think. Like, you just wanted to crawl out of your skin the entire time. Yeah, it was, it was a cringy movie, but it was really good. And, uh, like we said, no way you could ever, ever, <laughs> ever know what that ever. movie is about. Um, but it was very good. So now we're on our way home. We have to open our Advents. Yep. Yarn, cheese, and beer. And I think tonight was, is like a Rankin Bass movie, which is like 20, 30, usually like 30 or 40 minutes. Uh, maybe Santa Claus is coming to town, or I think it might be a year without a Santa Claus. One of those. So we could even just throw it on the TV upstairs while we like do our stuff. We could do whatever you want. We're on a movie mission. Okay. Very good. Salt burn. 10 out of 10. I can't recommend to everyone. But very good. So before I get changed, this is my woolen honey sweater. From Andrew Mowry in um, an old colorway from Explorer Knits and Fibers. It is a merino cashmere nylon, which is why it's so pilly. But it's beautiful. It is definitely a frequently worn sweater. And I realize that's also because I only actually have three wearable fingering weight sweaters. I have this. I have my pink fuzz. Pink fizz. And one other that I'm not remembering the name of at the moment. And I think I need more fingering weight sweaters. I definitely want to make a weekender crew. But I think that's DK weight. I think I might need some fingering weight color work sweaters in my life. So drop your favorites down below. 
because I'm already dreaming up some color combinations. Okay, thanks. This is the cheese. Cheese. Day five. Cheese. Cheese. Me to open it? Or? Yeah, the last three times I did it, I ripped the box. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's because it's just supposed to fold up. Oh. You're not supposed to rip it off. No, some. Oh, the fold is in different spots. I see this now. Aged Gouda. We love an aged Gouda. Or you get tomorrow. Yeah. On the fall. All right, do a little taste review tomorrow. Maybe Michael will give it another nine. All right, Let's see day five, brew dog beer advent. What's been your favorite one of those day so five. far? Did you have a favorite one? Been reading those every day. What'd you say? It's my favorite one. Is it Santa Paws? The one I just had. I like Santa Claus. You just like the name. You didn't like the beer. No. I don't remember what I had so far. Alexa. Santa Claus was good. It was just like a fruit. You're IPA. just saying that because that's the only one you remember. Couldn't tell you any of the other ones. Amber Ale? Fire or something? It was okay. There was something else. It was the first one. Amber. Oh no. Merry Christmas. Oh, that was a that was like a hoppy ale. That felt less hoppy than their amber ale, but that was a good one. And then I haven't drank the hazy Jane yet. Um, What's this? This is the one that I'm oh, doing oh, today. Oh, for today. I was like, what? And today's is North Pole Pale Ale. I bet this one will be the one I like the most. Is that new? I have not seen this one before. Yeah. Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Rudolph's from Columbus. Yeah. This is if you ever want to stay at a beer hotel. Oh yeah. Brew Dog Hotel. It's probably Which wildly overpriced. Here. But uh Yeah, wait, I'm pretty tell sure them they about that. Six pack. It's pretty cool. It's just like a hotel that's in Columbus and I'm pretty sure they have like instead of like a balcony that looks outside, I think it's like a, a window that looks into the brewing facility. And I have heard that it is a little pricey. And you get like, I mean, the, the rooms are kind of cool looking from what I've seen. And I want to say there's like a mini fridge stocked with beer in your room. That's like, oh, that's it's all, cool. I think it's all a part of your oh, cost of staying. That's cool. Um, but there's a bunch of breweries that do that. I think Dogfish Head also has one in really? North Carolina. I could be wrong. Uh, that sounds right. Somewhere down there. Um, and they don't give you a beer fridge. I believe they just give you like a six pack of beer that's in your room. I mean, but if you like beer. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. How? But, all right. That's it. Yeah. Today was North Pole. That's North it. Pole Pale. North Pole Pale Ale. I wanted to do an after movie try on because I got a lot of knitting done today. See that marker? That's where I was today. That's where I got. And here's where we ended. I'm obsessed with this. Oh, don't want to lose those stitches. Working on my shorties. Got to put my stitch stoppers back on. But, let's see. Like, can you see in the window? There's a pot outside. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to lose a stitch. But, oh, maybe two or three inches. And then the ripping. This is definitely getting finished tomorrow. I will make sure of it. Michael? Yeah. Do you want to say goodnight? Uh, sure. Why'd you say it like that? I can fix my eyebrows. Yeah, your crazy eyebrows. Your Come on, mister. I'm already recording. My arm is getting tired. Oh. Okay. 
Good night. Good night. That was it? That was it. That's all you get.